Right now, I'm in the mood for Japanese food, but more specifically, ramen. So I'm going to meet Mr. Kenichi Katagiri Hello. at his trading company because I hear he runs a ramen shop. So Katagiri-san, why do you come to Singapore?え、この会社の前の、え、会社が、え、with ramen's rising popularity, Katagiri-san and the founder of Baikoken decided to introduce their brand of ramen to Singaporeans. Established in 1969, Baikoken is a family business that serves Asahi Kawa style ramen defined by chijiri noodles and a shoyu broth made of pork and seafood stock. You know, all this talk about the famous Baikoken ramen, I want to try the ramen and I also want to try making the ramen. So you think your chefs can teach me? Yes, okay. Okay, great. Let's go. Now, in order to recreate the atmosphere of a typical ramen shop in Japan, employees at Baikoken have a unique morning exercise. Why am I doing this? I'm just supposed to be serving ramen. My producer hates me. Every time I enter a Japanese restaurant, they yell out something, something, something to me. Yes, what does that mean? Uh, welcome. Why is it that they do this? Japanese culture. When the chef is ready with a bowl of ramen, I notice he like will say something. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Uh, Aikotoba. So, ramen no bai wa atsui ramen o hakondari suru no de koi o kakenai to abunai. ですから、声をかけたりする。それとやっぱりえ、ラーメンっていうのは、え、元気の出る食べ物だから、元気のある、うん、掛け声をするというのがやっぱりその、ラーメンのカルチャー。I'm so ready to eat, but first, let's check out the kitchen. As you can see, it's an open concept kitchen. You can watch the chefs prepare your bowl of ramen right in front of you. The chefs themselves flew all the way from Japan and today they're going to teach me how to prepare a proper bowl of Japanese ramen. So come on. Hello. Okay, uh, first the sauce. Oil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With you, how? It's definitely not like cooking instant noodles because I'm used to cooking in like in a small saucepan. Let's kind of let it boil, but this is like huge. It's a bit thicker. Oh, really. test? Yes, yes. Wow! Yes, hot, careful. Yes, hot. Okay, now this is the tricky bit. This Flip, flip. And then? Then, swap. It's very heavy and honestly, it's quite tiring on the wrist. Wow! <laughs> Man! Again, again. Let's try again. Finish. Then, put the bowl. Okay. That's really pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather be the sous chef when I just like put the chasu, put the bamboo shoots. I could do this. But all this flipping, yeah, nah, -uh, I'll leave it to the Zaki san. Okay, ta da! That's hard work. Besides choosing from three traditional flavors of soup miso, shoyu, and shio customers can decide on the contents of their ramen from a list of ingredients. This is because the chefs at Baikuken believe everyone's version of good ramen is different. Thank you. Well, look, we have three hot steaming bowls of ramen. I don't know which one to start on first. Katagara-san, what do you say before you start uh, to eat? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Yeah. And what does this mean? Uh, itadakimasu. Uh, tabemasu. Oh, like to uh, eat. Bon appetit. It is the Japanese version of bon appetit. So, itadakimasu. Mmm. I like that the noodles have some bite. Like al dente pasta. Not too soft, and I think that's exactly what Zaki san was trying to tell me just now. When your noodles cannot be too soft, then you have more texture and goes really well with the soup. The soup is a bit salty, but it's very rich with a taste of pork. Very, very tasty. Let me try the chashu. Mmm, very tender with a hint of sweetness. 
And I love it that there's fat in it because the fat kind of melts in your mouth and gives you a very lemak kind of mouth taste. This one is um, miso butter corn. This one looks really rich, full of veg. Let's try the soup. I want to see what's the difference between this one and the shoyu. Now, the shoyu was saltier, but this one has a richness that I suppose comes from a combination of the butter and the fact that miso is makes the soup a bit thicker as well. Mm. I can taste the butter even in the noodles. I really like this one. Okay, and look, this has a little side dish. What is this called in Japanese? Ajitama. Ajitama. If you see the yolk, it's not like your usual hard-boiled egg because some bits of it is cooked and some bits are still runny. The egg, the runny bits of yolk, make it extra shook because it all kind of explodes in your mouth. So let's try this now. It looks like a lot of veg. What is this? Shio yasaira. Shio means salt in Japanese. Yes, yes. Singapore customer like this. One. Like this one? They like the soup. Yes, the soup because there is a distinct veg taste. It's the most clean tasting one of the three. What is the proper way to eat ramen? Japanese style. Japanese style, that's right. Okay, I try? Yes, please. Please do. Whether it's handmade gyoza or springy noodles, you're bound to find something to your liking at Baiko Ken. And of course, while you're at it, remember to have your ramen in true Japanese style. And here are my ratings.